In my experience, one of the hardest, easiest things for people to wrap their mind around are knots. And I say hardest, easiest because once that dyslexia passes, everything sort of clicks. And you say to yourself, that's easy AF. So with that mindset, let's go ahead and get started. The infamous bowling. It's an ancient knot. It's used at the end of a piece of cordage. And the true beauty is, once it's tied properly, it will not slip or bind. The square knot is a binding knot that can be used to join two lines or make a loop. The fisherman's knot is also a binding knot that can be used to join two lines or make a loop. A lark's head knot, sometimes referred to as a cow hitch, can be used to attach a piece of cordage to an object. The Prusik knot is perfect for attaching a loop of smaller diameter to a larger diameter rope. The beauty of this knot is that you can slide it in either direction, but once you pull in the opposite direction, it will lock in place. The jam knot, sometimes referred to as an arbor knot, can be used to compress a load, create a lashing, or simply tie a piece of cordage around an object. A timber hitch can be used when towing a log, tree, or even starting a lash. A marlin spike hitch is a temporary knot used to attach a rod to a rope in order to form a handle or a rung for a ladder.
And by simply combining the two, I have my Marlin Spike Hitch T-handle, my timber hitch around that log, and I'm in business. <laughs>